This training module is an overview of synoptic storm event precipitation statistics used to model rainfall runoff events with the stochastic empirical loading and dilution model. Synoptic storm event precipitation statistics are calculated by grouping hourly rainfall measurements into a series of events separated by a minimum number of consecutive hours without rainfall. These statistics commonly are used as a framework for monitoring and modeling stormwater runoff quality. This is training module 3.01b for the stochastic empirical loading and dilution model seldom. This presentation has 16 slides and will take about 11 minutes. This training module was prepared by the U.S. Geological Survey in cooperation with the Federal Highway Administration. This training module has four learning objectives. At the end of this module, you should be able to review the U.S. EPA definition of a runoff generating event, discuss the methods used to generate storm events from precipitation statistics, discuss the seldom precipitation input options, and discuss the name and format of the precipitation event output file from seldom. This presentation is a brief overview of the technical details for estimating and using storm event precipitation statistics for runoff quality analyses. Please see the Seldom Storm Flow Report, FHWA-HEP-09-005, and the Seldom Manual, USGS Techniques and Methods Report 4C3 for details. Appendix 3 of the Storm Flow Report includes a literature view that provides an overview of the studies characterizing storm event precipitation statistics. As this diagram indicates, storm event precipitation statistics are the primary input for generating runoff events in seldom. Monte Carlo methods are used to generate a population of storms. The precipitation volumes are applied to the area of the upstream basin and the area of the highway. Runoff coefficients are used to transform the rainfall into runoff volumes from each area. The duration of the storm event is used to help determine the timing and duration of runoff flows. The time between storm event midpoints is used to calculate the number of storms per year, and ultimately the total number of events in a simulation. The United States Environmental Protection Agency has defined a runoff generating storm event as having a minimum volume of 0.1 inch of liquid precipitation and a minimum inner event time of 6 hours. The minimum event duration of 1 hour is a result of using hourly precipitation data. The minimum interval between storm event midpoints is a result of the 6 hour minimum inter event time added to the midpoints of two 1 hour events. This definition has been used by the US EPA. Federal Highway Administration, U.S. Geological Survey, and other federal and state water resource management agencies. These precipitation event variables commonly are modeled using the two-parameter exponential distribution because there are many small values and fewer large values. This graph shows a histogram of precipitation data. The vertical axis shows the number of events in each category, and the horizontal axis shows the value of the storm event variable, which may be volume, duration, or the time between storm midpoints. The first bar is missing because the U.S. EPA definition of a runoff producing event has a minimum value for each variable. Thus, the two-parameter exponential distribution is characterized by the minimum and mean values. In seldom, each storm event variable is generated by using the minimum value and the mean value with the two-parameter exponential distribution as shown in the equation on this slide. Seldom uses a pseudo-random number generator to produce a series of uniform random numbers which are designated as UI in the equation. It transforms the numbers into natural logarithms and adjusts these values by using the minimum and mean values to fit the input statistics. The input statistics determine the generated values. This graph shows examples of the distribution of generated event volume values. The vertical axis shows the event volume in inches. The horizontal axis shows the model generated uniform random number, UI. In this example, the minimum value was set to 0.1 inch and three mean values were selected. The equation was written so that the storm event variables increase with increasing values of UI. Three mean event volume values were selected to represent the station values in seldom, which range from 0.27 to 1.69 inches of precipitation. The 0.7 value represents the mean value among all stations in the data set. All three generated samples have a lower bound of 0.1, but the event volumes rapidly diverge as the mean value is increased. If the mean is 1.69 inches, then event volumes will effectively range between 0.1 and 13 inches. If the mean is 0.7, then event volumes will effectively range between 0.1 and 5 inches. If the mean is 0.27, then event volumes will effectively range between 0.1 and 1.5 inches over a simulation period. 
seldom uses the average number of storms per year to calculate the minimum number of runoff producing storm events to be generated. This graph shows the linear equation used to calculate the minimum number of storms with data points for each U.S. EPA rain zone and for the station with the minimum and maximum number of storms per year. The vertical axis shows the calculated minimum number of storms in a simulation. The horizontal axis shows the average number of runoff producing storm events per year. The minimum number of events to be generated is calculated as 725 storms plus 17 times the average number of storms per year. These coefficients were selected to balance the need for a sufficient number of storms to reach convergence towards input statistics and the desire to generate a period that was comparable to the length of record for streamflow and precipitation data sets in most of the country. This schematic diagram shows the flowchart for entering input data and for running a seldom analysis. Each labeled box on the flowchart is a form. The forms are grouped into categories, documentation, site and region, hydrology, and water quality. Precipitation statistics are specified on the first hydrology form in the interface, which is also the ninth form in the progression from the analyst form to the run seldom form. We will play with the precipitation forms in our class exercise. Seldom supports the environmental decision-making process because it is preloaded with precipitation statistics. This facilitates rapid development of robust planning level estimates using regional statistics. These estimates can be easily refined by using precipitation statistics from selected nearby sites. If the situation is critical, estimates can easily be refined by using advanced analysis of available data or with data collected at the site of interest. If you use regional values with site characteristics, you can assess conditions at many sites in a day. If you need to collect defensible data at a site of interest, this will be expensive and will cause substantial delays of a year or more. The storm event statistics in Seldom are based on values from the 2,610 hourly precipitation data stations that have at least 25 years of record during the 1965 through 2006 period. On this map, the precipitation stations are white dots, the rain zones are thick black lines, state boundaries are gray, and the ecoregions are the pastel colored polygons. In Seldom, you can use the average or median value of all stations in a rain zone or ecoregion or you can select statistics from one or more nearby sites. This is a screenshot of the Seldom Precipitation Statistics input form. This form provides seven methods for selecting or entering precipitation statistics. These methods are the rain zone average, rain zone median, echo region average, echo region median, selected station average, selected station median, and user defined. The first four options are to use the average or median of statistics for all stations in the specified rain zone or echo region. The next two options are to use the average or median statistics from one or more stations that are selected to represent conditions at the site of interest. The final selection is user defined. This option lets you input entirely new values or edit existing values. The user defined option is designed to facilitate a sensitivity analysis and to allow input of site specific statistics. You can select precipitation statistics from one or more nearby sites when you use a selected station option. The seldom station selection form for this area has large variations in statistics among nearby stations. If variations are minor, then the choice among stations may not be critical. In this mountainous area of the southwest, however, there is wide variation. The closest precipitation gauge may not be your best option. Further investigation may be warranted before selecting representative statistics for site in this area. In this case, the PRISM annual precipitation map may be used to select station statistics based on the average annual contours. If my site is in the green area at about 55 inches per year, and the nearest precipitation station is in the yellow area with 25 inches per year, then I may want to use statistics from another precipitation gauge that is farther away but with more similar precipitation values. If my stream basin includes drastically different areas, I may want to do a weighted average of values and enter user-defined statistics. Precipitation event characteristics are written to the pe.txt output file in the analysis directory under the FHWA-SELDM folder on the root drive of the computer. This file contains a list of the precipitation stations and statistics in tab-delimited format. 
Storm event characteristics, including the interval between storm event midpoints, storm duration in hours, and the storm event volume in inches also are included in this file. As the file indicates, individual storm events are identified by sequence number and annual load accounting years. Seldom, however, generates each storm randomly. There is no serial correlation. The order does not reflect seasonal patterns. In this module, we learn that precipitation statistics drive the storm flow process in seldom. The precipitation volume is applied to the highway site and the upstream basin. The precipitation duration affects the timing of runoff, and the time between storm event midpoints determines the number of storms per year. The four synoptic storm event variables are the volume, duration, inter-event time, and interval between storm event midpoints. The U.S. Environmental Protection Agency definition of a runoff generating event is an event that has a 0.1 inch minimum and a minimum inter-event time of 6 hours. Seldom uses a two-parameter exponential distribution to model precipitation statistics. Seldom calculates the minimum number of storms used in a simulation as 725 storms plus 17 times the average number of storms per year. You can select precipitation by region, by site, or by entering user-defined values. And the precipitation output file has a dash PE suffix and has values in tab-delimited format for use with other programs.